<sighs> messy desk in the background. Probably not so nice, but yeah. Hey guys, today I'm here with a book haul. So I haven't showed you books in a really, really long time and that is basically because I didn't really get too many books or, well, let's just say I didn't really buy too many books. Uh, so I wanted to show you a few because I bought a few and then I got a few from a friend of mine before I left for Vienna, which is now like two months ago. So what the fuck? But yeah, the first two books that I want to show you are books that I got from the Booktubeathon Book Depository uh, discount thing which is now like, what, it was in July, I believe, yeah, anyway, one book that I got and already read, and I think I briefly talked about this in my Vienna update video, Everything Leads to You by Nina Lecour, and I really, really enjoyed this book, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, it's uh, contemporary with LGBTQ, well, you know what I want to say, characters in it and I think that is really nice to read about them. I think it was very well written. The setting is in LA. I mean it's a contemporary and it is realistic fiction but it's still in some kind of dream world because they are making movies and stuff which I think is something very exciting. The other book I got with that discount is The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I have absolutely no idea what this is about but this is one of my top YA popular books that I need to read as soon as possible. I don't know, this is kind of a strange version. I didn't really check when I got it on Goodreads and I'm just already being scared about not getting the same editions for the whole trilogy. But that's a whole nother topic. I need to read this first before doing anything else. <laughs> and then before I left for Vienna, my friend Leah from The Yawning Mermaid, she has a booktube channel but she hasn't really been uploading. But you should subscribe anyway because maybe that motivates her to come back. But um, she brought me some books that she didn't want to read anymore, that she already read and just wanted to give away. And yeah, she brought me like this big fat bag of books and... I have no idea what any of these are about, but I thought I'd show them to you anyway. I have Nightshade by Andrea Kramer, Andrea Kramer, whatever. Um, and this book is just great. I think the cover, I mean the cover is kind of strange, but I think it's really pretty. And it has deckled edges, and I love deckled edges, so... Then I got uh, this German book, Der Venus Pact by Janine Koch. Another, like, kind of strange but kind of pretty cover. This is like a typical German cover. I don't know why. They like to use eyes. I think this is some kind of maybe adult thing. Yeah, definitely. It definitely, like, the first sentence on it kind of sounds like that. Then I got, which is really cool, um, The Iron Daughter and the Iron King by Julie Kagawa which I have heard lots of things about, don't really know what they are about, but these were definitely the two books that I was most excited about getting from her, because, yeah, it's just books that I have heard about before. I think they are YA fantasy. Then I got um, another German one, Die Hexe von Portobello by Paolo Coelho, I never can say his name. And I love this cover because of the hair. I mean, obvious. And I think this is some kind of witch story. Well, it is, because the title basically says The Witch of Portobello. And I have to say, I'm also really excited to read this one. And I might squeeze it in in the October, November, Halloween time thing. Because that might fit. But I'm reading one book for like two weeks now, so... Probably not gonna happen. Then I got Evermore by Alison Noel, which is, I think, a vampire story, actually. It's from a series, which is The Immortals, which definitely sounds like vampires. Kind of strange cover, I think. And then I got Need by Carrie Jones, another book where I have no idea what it is about. It has a really strange cover, it looks so ugly, but, well... I mean, I got it and I'm definitely gonna read that at some point. And now, two books that I think I'm most excited to show. I mean, like, all the other books were very exciting too, but these two books are, like, my most recent purchases and the first books that I got here in Vienna, which felt, like, so cool and it basically screamed at the uh, mailman. And he was like, what is in this box that you were so excited about? And I was like, books! 
yeah, that is literally what happened. The first book that I have is uh, Vivian vs. America by Katie Cole, which is the second book in the Vivian Apple trilogy serious duology? I have no idea. This is the sequel to Vivian vs. The Apocalypse, which I really enjoyed but was so disappointed by the ending and I didn't knew back then that there was going to be a sequel. And I think I only found out maybe two or three weeks before the sequel actually came out and then I was freaking out. This is the book that I'm currently reading but because I'm not really reading much and I don't really have time to read and blah blah blah, I am only halfway in I believe. I'm liking it so far, but it's not too amazing. I just hope that we will finally get a conclusion and answers. But I think we're on the right way. So, yeah, I, I just really like the concept. And the last book, but definitely not least book, I got in this beautiful book haul is the fifth book in the Outliner series by Diana Gabaldon. If you haven't heard about the series, I don't know what you're doing because booktube is full of it. Without wanting to, I really feel like a hipster. I mean, my name is from the series. But no, really, it's just really crazy to see all of these people reading it. But I'm loving it because everyone loves these books and mm, it's amazing. Anyway, I have stopped after the fourth book. I was not bored. I actually do really enjoy the books still. It's just that... They are so long and at some point it's just that you can't do it anymore. You just want to read something short or you want to read YA or you just want to read something else. And then I just mm, normally stop for way too long and forget about these books. But thanks to all the hype because of the TV show, I did decide to pick The Fiery Cross up. This is the German version because I have decided to continue reading these books in German. I know my, some people might scream at me right now. I think that even the language creates a certain voice in your mind and I have a really clear voice while reading these books so I don't really want to disturb that with just changing the language. This is still <laughs> wrapped in its thingy because I just, I don't know, I, have, I felt so overwhelmed with continuing that I just I don't know, I just stare at it all the time and feel like, I want to start this, I want to start this. But because I'm only reading 50 pages a day or something, this would take me 100 days. And that seems like, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I am definitely excited. It's just really hard for me to pick like such a big book up at the moment. But these were all of the books that I got in the last few months. Yeah, I'm just really excited about books and yes, yeah, let me know how you are doing. We haven't talked for a while so let me know how's it going, is everything alright in your life or maybe tell me about your most anticipated books of the fall or tell me what you want to read on Halloween or yeah, just let me know anything. I would be really really happy to talk to you and yes, I guess I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>